Okay, good morning. I've got my my water tanks unboxed. I'm storing them back there out of the way. I've got my lumber. Got some two by sixes, some two by fours, and some two by threes that I'll be using. And I've got my my insulation that I'll be using around my water tanks. I got uh, two four by eight sheets of two inch and two four by eight by three quarter inch that I'll be uh, encapsulating these uh, 100 gallon tanks. So I'm gonna have 200 gallons of fresh water wherever I go. All right, I'll see you guys in a little while. Here's my tanks and where they're gonna go. They're gonna be underneath the bed. And there'll be a, a wall on that two by four. I'm sorry, that two by six. I'm getting ready to cut that two inch piece, which is really an inch and three quarters. I'm gonna cut two pieces, 26 inches. These tanks are 26 inches a piece. And then I'll put another one over there. There'll be a two by six running between them for stability. There'll be a two by six on either side for stability. Because you don't want to be going down the road and have those tanks let loose. Now, this is just a subfloor um, beginnings. Of course, the bed will be much higher than those tanks, so I'll have storage under the bed. Um, here's all my connections. And I'll be basically hooking these two tanks in parallel, so it'll, it'll fill both of those, the fill will come in from the side over there. That top one here, that's gonna be a vent, and that's a vent. Because when you put something in an airtight tank, you need to be able to get the air out. And those down there are my drain and my, my use. So my pump will be hooked to those. And again, these two tanks will be hooked up in parallel. All right, let me cut this uh, styrofoam, get it underneath, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I got my first piece of uh, insulation cut. The uh, reflective side goes down because that's where the, the air would be coming up, radiating up, and this foil will help radiate it back. So that goes down. Okay, and I cut my I cut my insulation board about an eighth of an inch wider because when I put in my joists, I'm going to snug those together with clamps, and of course there'll be another two by six run on the back side of that. So these will get cut. These will get cut right, right there. And there'll be another two by six that runs the entire length of that. So, okay, let me drop this tank down and see where we're at. Okay, got all my dimensions for my fresh water tanks. And now I'm gonna build the subfloor, the uh, panels, one tank will go in there, and one tank will go in there. And uh, I've got them, I've got them sitting right up here. I don't know if you can see them or not, I'll step back. Just got them standing up over there. There's two of them. I don't know if you can see the other one. Probably not. Yeah, it's back there. Okay, I got my lumber where I can cut right there. 
Here's my styrofoam I cut earlier to 26 and a quarter. So I've got I've got this two by six perfectly square. I've measured it from here all the way to the back of the trailer and it's exact. And I've measured from there to the front of the trailer and it's exact. Now keep in mind this is a you know this is a trailer it's not a it's not a house so there's going to be a you know an occasional eighth of an inch quarter of an inch it could be off um, but what I try to do is compensate for you know anything and, and, and aesthetically make it look good because keep in mind everything you do when you begin putting your walls on and stuff like that you want all of your lines to to look correct you know when I put my walls on with my uh, tongue and groove, I don't want a half inch down there and, you know, an inch and a half down at this end. So, you know, you have to give and take for aesthetics. But anyway, that's enough for this one. I'll come back once I got this bowl framed out. The two cavities for the water tanks are done. I'm getting ready to slip in the tanks and I got to cut all access holes down there. Be right back. Okay. I'm about done for the day. All right. There's the two tanks mounted exactly where they're going to be. Um, got my hole saws out because tomorrow you see that fitting down there that's what these hole saws are for and I'll be drilling a hole through that so that I can have access to screw in the in the fitting that goes there and there I'll be drilling one here I'll be drilling one right there and one right there now remember our water comes in right there it's gravity fed and it'll go in there and this one and this one will be hooked together so the hose will come in like this 45 we have T right here and then a 45 there and basically the connections are the same for all of them uh, I've got to put some uh, some bracing in there tomorrow attach that to the wall um, now you all know this is my this area here is my utility area my room there's going to be a wall here should be there tomorrow maybe anyway through this floor all the way up to the front of the trailer is going to be a two and a half inch um, electrical tubing conduit so that I can get any wires I need from here back to there and there'll be different points on the conduit that go up to you know like where the outlets are and things like that um i'll be running two and a two inch uh, mini tube for the furnace um on both sides so we have plenty of heat in the bedroom i'll put a duct in the bathroom and of course uh, a duct in the kitchen and in the very front, when the floor is raised up, there'll be two registers back there as well. So um, we'll have plenty of heat. Of course, the air conditioner is there and it gets ducted as well. I'll put a duct here, probably one in my room here and one up front. 